Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and in this video I've got my final design of the week using the Nail Teen Glitters of the Week, the Magical Mermaid Elite Glitters. i gone for a really pink girly set using the gorgeous Alea for this design so to see how I created it, please keep watching. So I'm working on Eliza, my red iguana hand, and here is the star of this design, beautiful elite glitter, a layer, a gorgeous hot pink iridescent. It is absolutely stunning. I love this one. From the Gems Acrylic range, I will be using Crystal Clear, and I'm also going to add a little touch of Pearl. This is that beautiful soft pink shimmery cover powder. I've then got Gale, this gorgeous purple from the Taste the Rainbow collection, and then, yep, back into my sticker stash, and I've picked out the purple seashell and starfish stickers for this set. And then I'm also gonna use some shell pieces, and I've picked out some pink and some purple shell pieces to use in this design. I love this little box. I think I showed it in a previous video. I got it from Sheen and you take them all out individually. So you don't have to take a whole row out with some of the boxes you can get. You can take out each individual color or whatever you've put in there that you want. So I have applied the gem stiletto tips and I've just nipped the end off. So I've got more of a um, tapered, square coffin design but wanted to keep it long and I'm just going in with crystal clear to do my thin clear base and then we can do the fun stuff and the actual design. So I'm starting off on the ring finger and I'm going to do the same on the middle finger too and I'm going in with Gale and I'm going to be doing a bit of an ombre between Gale and Pearl. So I applied the first bead just where that base nail free edge is, uh, blended it back so I'll have a nice smoothish transition and then just added a touch more at the tip where I needed a little bit more colour. Uh, and then just adding a bit more where I felt the coverage needed it. Uh, still working nice and thin, painting it on because, you know, I'm adding the glitter, I'm adding pearl, I'm adding some stickers, so it's all going to need to be encapsulated. So I'm always working my uh, coloured layers nice and thin, painting them on. Flipping the brush to do some blending back and then just blending and painting the front of the bead just down the nail. Now I decided to go with Gale and not a pink acrylic because the stickers are purple. I didn't have any pinky stickers, only the purple ones. So I thought I'd pair the beautiful pink glitter with this purple color uh, and then it should all tie in nicely together. Now I am going in with Pearl. I've placed that first bead just where Gail is um, blending back. Just a small wettish bead that I can blend down into that uh, Gail colour and then I'm going to add a little bit more at the cuticle, tuck that in nice and neatly and then blend it down. I'm not worried about the blend being spot on perfect here. Gale is a very, very, very pigmented colour and they're not the easiest to ombre with um, cover powders. Uh, to be honest, they're not the easiest to blend in general. But um, I want to add some glitters and some stickers so I knew 90% of that blend was going to be well hidden so I wasn't worrying too much uh, and I know that sounds really strange coming from me uh, but I'm just I'm trying not to be so stiff with what I do once I've applied that I'm going to start doing the beautiful Alea glitter I'm going to do a full nail on the pinky and also on the index finger um, starting sort of with more fuller coverage from the cuticle and then just blending it out as we get towards the tip. I still want uh, glitter right to the tip but I'm not worried about it being quite such full heavy coverage. As always I did my first bead nice and small and wet so that I could get a nice neat cuticle line and then just started painting the product down. 
Now on the ring finger, and I'll do the same on the middle finger, I started off how I would do a swoosh. So I placed the bead in the middle of the nail and I went up one side towards the cuticle uh, and just shaped it using my brush. But then last minute I decided to sort of apply glitter to the whole tip where I put the purple. I'm not sure what made me decide to do this because my plan had always been to do my usual swish but I loved how on top of the purple that iridescent pink picked out sort of the blue iridescence to it and gave a nice sort of turquoisey blue shimmer over top of the purple glitter uh, purple acrylic so I decided to do that and I absolutely loved it I loved how you've got that slightly different iridescent shimmery color depending on the base color you use um, and I really really liked it so that's why I decided to just do it full coverage over the purple um, you could have just done sort of the purple at the tip and then done glitter from the cuticle and then you'd have had the pink glitter uh, going into that purple and blue shimmery which would have been quite nice um, but I quite liked how this looked I then did the full cover on the index how I did the pinky now off camera I tipped out some of those two colors of shells and I broke them into much smaller pieces easier to put on and I just wanted sort of just in the middle on these two full glitter nails so I went in with a little bit of clear acrylic as you can see now and then I'm just using the wet brush just to pick up those little glitter pieces and just placing them uh, just in like a clump in the middle of the nail um, and I've just mixed and match between the pink and the lilac shell uh, I don't want to do full coverage and I didn't want to do too much because ultimately this design is about the glitter um, and so I decided not to add any shell pieces to the middle two nails uh, which I was really really surprised about because I loved them even more than I thought I would uh, when I added the glitter now I'm going to bring in my sheet of stickers and I said in a previous video I love that they're on a clear background because I can hold it over the nails and get an idea of what's going to look best where. I decided to go with these sort of open clams on the middle finger and then added a couple of pearls coming up that almost looked a bit sort of bubbly as well but I'm pretty sure they were pearls and then on the ring finger I did a closed clam but again I did the sh little pearls coming up um, and I loved these two together then stickers I've not used very often on my other designs I've tend to stick with the smaller shells and the starfish so um, I love that I use them obviously I wanted to use the starfish because I'm loving those uh, so I did just overlapping the shell pieces I didn't want too much just place them and then I've done a couple of other stickers on there and that is the design part of this set all done I'm already loving how it looks but now I need to encapsulate this in clear acrylic building up my structure get my apex in place make sure all the glitter the stickers and everything is fully encapsulated so I don't file it away then I am going to file them back to shape uh, refine the sidewalls free edge and smooth over the surface and here they are freshly filed I already think looking fantastic but as always it's your opinion that matters to me so give them a good clean up and you can start to get a look of that sort of that blue iridescent shimmer from the glitter over top of the purple uh, but I decided this design was blingy enough with that beautiful glitter and the shell pieces and the stickers plus the little bit of shimmer in the pearl uh, acrylic so I'm going straight in with Miss Tina Top no crystals for this design um, just straight in with Tina Top bringing it back to life and there is so much to see in this design with all of those bits that I've just mentioned and I'm not going to mention again so I'm going to top coat all of these nails and I'm going to then pop into my lamp to cure for 60 seconds and that is my final design this week finished
Now, obviously, if I'd done this design on an actual person, I'd let that top coat cool off for a minute or two, and then I would finish off with cuticle oil just to rehydrate the skin around the nails and the skin on the fingers, uh, and then my client can get on with the rest of their day. But Miss Liza doesn't need all of that. So here they are, fully cured, and I've done it the last few weeks. Again, I feel like I have left my favourite set till last. Uh, this is definitely my favourite set this week. As I said, I wanted to stick with that sort of ocean, underwater uh, theme for these designs as it's the Magical Mermaid glitters. And this one is my favourite by far. I love the colours, I love the stickers, I love the added shell. I just really love this one. But as always, it doesn't matter what I think, what's more important to me is what you guys think. So please let me know in the comments down below. And I'd love it if you give this video a thumbs up and also click subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already. Uh, this is my final video this week. There will be a new glitter and colour of the week next week, which I will introduce tomorrow in my usual short video. But then I'm having a week off. Uh, so, uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on which way you look at it, there won't be any videos this next week. Um, unless I decide to do one later in the week after I've had a few days off. But uh, my plan is to not, is to have a few days for me. Uh, my body needs a bit of time because it's sort of feeling a little bit worn out. So I'm having a well earned, I feel, week off. So there will be no videos next week, but there will still be a few designs on my Instagram and Facebook because you can't stop me that much. Uh, so do please make sure you follow me on there so you can check out those designs. Uh, but that is it for this video today. So please check out the description box because I'll pop the product details and any links in there. You can still get the glitters and colour of the week on offer until tomorrow morning when a new glitter and colour of the week um, is introduced. And don't forget at the nail team, you can use Helen 5 for 5% off everything else. I will be back in a week's time, so enjoy half term and uh, I will see you again next week. Bye! Mwah.